Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Erin and for today's video we are going to be talking about a haunted Elsa doll that doesn't seem to want to follow her own song and let it go. So as you can tell probably by my voice, I'm sick. I've been sick for about a week. It's it sucked. I'm feeling better than I was, but I'm still sick. I look more disheveled than usual. So I apologize for that. But just bear with me because I definitely wanted to share this story because it has actually been on the news a couple times in the last couple days. So as I said, we're going to be talking about a haunted Elsa doll. Now if you don't know who Elsa is, she is a main character from Frozen. So yeah, let's jump into it. So the Madonia family bought their daughter a singing slash talking Elsa doll for Christmas in 2013. So if you do the math, that's about six years ago. So when their daughter first started playing with the doll, it worked normally. It said phrases from the movie and of course it belted out everybody's favorite song from Frozen, Let It Go. Eventually, however, as time went on, things kind of began to go awry with this particular Elsa doll she began to do some pretty strange things. So first of all, the doll started speaking in both Spanish and English. Now obviously some dolls come with a switch to where you can switch it from speaking English to get it to speak a different language such as Spanish. However, the family never found this switch on this doll. They could never find a switch that would have it switch from English to Spanish. However, things got stranger from there. They did know where the power switch was on this Elsa doll and they often turned it off. However, it would still sing, let it go, <laughs> while the power was turned off on the doll. Now, the Madonias claim that they have never changed the batteries in this doll in the past six years, which kind of could explain some of this maybe, but we'll get back to that in just a second. So the speaking Spanish and it randomly going off when it was turned off began to creep out the family, obviously, and eventually they decided that it was probably time for this doll to go. So they decided to throw it out. However, it seems that this Elsa doll, she didn't want to let go of the family. As I said, the Madonias had thrown out the Elsa doll and two weeks later, she appeared in their house again. They had actually found her in a bench in their living room. Obviously they questioned their kids as to if this was a prank or something and they all swore up and down that they did not bring the doll back into the house. And they believed their children. And also if you think about it, what kid is going to want to rummage through the trash to play a prank on their parents? I mean, I wouldn't have wanted to rummage through the trash just to get a doll to scare my parents. I mean, maybe I would. No, I wouldn't. So the Madonias decided to be a little more proactive this time when they decided to get rid of Elsa. What they did was they wrapped the doll up in its own plastic garbage bag pretty tightly and then they took the doll that was in that garbage bag and put it into another garbage bag that was full of trash and then took the bag of trash and threw it in the bottom of their trash can. So if somebody was going to get this doll, they were going to have to go through a lot of effort to go find it. Now, after they placed Elsa in the bin, they made sure that the trash was taken out to be taken away by the trash collectors. After that, the family went on vacation. However, they kind of had a surprise when they came back from vacation. So approximately two weeks again, after they had thrown Elsa out the second time, when they had returned home from vacation, one of their children went in the backyard and they found Elsa nestled up against the back of their house. She was back. And if you notice, there seems to be a pattern of two weeks between the time they try to get rid of her and the time that she comes back. Now, at this point when Elsa appeared for the second time, obviously the Madonia family was awfully concerned and Emily Madonia, who is the mother, she actually reached out on Facebook to ask what other people's opinions were of this. And obviously she was leaning toward the paranormal when it came to this. She had actually said that she didn't really actively believe in the paranormal, but it's the only thing that she could think of because she swore up and down that nobody was playing a prank on them. Now, after posting on Facebook, she had a friend from Minnesota reach out to her who said that he wanted the doll and that he would take it off their hands. So, Emily Madonia 
packed Elsa up for a third time and shipped her off to her friend in Minnesota with no return address on the package. Now, I did read one article that said that as she was packing up Elsa this third time, that the doll began to laugh, which is kind of part of her repertoire for go sounds. However, the laugh lasted like more than 30 seconds, which is definitely not the usual. So how creepy is that? Now, Elsa did arrive to her destination in Minnesota safely. She did not end up back at the Madonias yet. Emily Madonia's friend did receive the doll where he has since taped her to the brush guard of his Jeep, which I think is a little bizarre, but to each their own, I suppose. He has said that if anything strange happens while he has the doll, that he is going to weld it into a pipe and throw it in the bottom of lake. So I'm interested to see what actually happens with this because it wasn't all too long ago that she sent the doll to him. So who knows, maybe it'll magically end up back at her house again in two weeks, or maybe something will happen and he will throw it in a lake. Either way, I think that the whole story is very creepy. So the overall question is, is this doll gonna return to the Madonias? I'll keep an eye on it and see what happens. I'm not so sure that we're ever gonna get an update on it, but who knows, something to keep a close eye on. Now there are some things that I wanted to go over with with this story. They had specifically mentioned that they had never changed the batteries in this doll in six years. So that kind of might explain why it would switch from English to Spanish. Maybe there's some kind of mechanical glitch in there because the batteries are no good. It wouldn't explain it obviously speaking while the doll is powered off. However, if there is something internally wrong with the doll, like the mechanisms inside, then yeah, it, it could talk when it's not on. However, the coming back twice in two weeks thing, that's what leans me toward the paranormal side with this whole thing. As you know, Violet, she is my backdrop. She is my haunted doll. I will say that I find it unusual that a doll would want to come back. I have absolutely no intentions of ever throwing out my haunted doll or rehoming her. I'm actually quite happy with my spirit that is attached to this doll. She means no harm. She makes her presence known every now and again, but overall, she's awesome to have around, so I have no intentions of getting rid of her. I can see that if a spirit was attached to this family, why it might try to make its way back. However, in the past, things that kind of come back that are paranormal related usually have something negative attached to them. The one thing that you can have a direct correlation with is good old Annabelle. So just in case you don't know who Annabelle is, Annabelle is a very haunted doll that resides in the Warren's Occult Museum and she has a demon attached to her. Now, Annabelle's first owner had tried to get rid of her several times and she consistently came back. There are lots of stories with things like that. I have family members who have had a Ouija board that they tried to get rid of that magically came back to the house that they were in. So usually it's a negative connotation when stuff like that happens, but who knows, it, it might not be. Maybe they just really, really like the family. I mean, I would like to think that if I were to ever throw Violet away that she'd want to make her way back here because she liked it so much. However, like I said, I have no intentions of doing that, so we'll never find out. But yeah, overall I would say not normal haunted doll behavior to just show back up. I can also understand why this family would want to get rid of the haunted doll. I mean, haunted dolls are not for everybody. Pretty much, you know, you're inviting something into your house to kind of live with you, so I get it. Some people get creeped out. Me, like I said, I lucked out, I got Violet. She has a great spirit attached to her. She's not evil in any way, she's actually quite protective. So, Violet, you can stick around as long as you want to. But yeah, what do you guys think? Do you think that this was just like a prank that went wrong? Do you think it's a haunted doll? What do you think? Like I said, I could draw conclusions about it being mechanical failure for the Spanish and the speaking without being turned on thing. However, the doll coming back twice, that's, like I said, that's what's leaning me toward this actually being like a legit paranormal story. And I also think it's really cool when stories like this 
kind of pop up into the mainstream media because not often do you have things like hunt dolls appearing in the news unless it's like around Halloween time and it's not, it's January. So that's what I thought was really neat about this. But that is it for this video guys. If you liked it, please give me a big old thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this one and you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, hit that subscribe button down below and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye!